WVUA News at 6 with your award-winning news team, Lynn Brooks, Philip Coleman, weather with Richard Scott, and sports with Gary Harris. The countdown is on for the Crimson Tide's big SEC championship game against the Georgia Bulldogs. The road to 15 national championships is making a pit stop in Atlanta this Saturday, and many Bama fans are headed to that big game to cheer on the Tide. WVA's Daniel Sparkman joins us live from Atlanta, Georgia with more. Daniel. Hey, good evening, guys. A beautiful night here in Atlanta. We are live getting ready for that SEC championship. And let me tell you, it's a big weekend here in Atlanta tonight. The Saints are in town taking on the Falcons over at the Georgia Dome. That's why we are set up here out in front of the Media Hotel here on Peachtree Street in beautiful downtown Atlanta. Very nice night out here. Now, just like many fans will do this weekend, we came up this morning to check out the sites, see what all there was to do in Atlanta. Now, there is a lot for the fans to do as they get here. Atlanta has a lot to offer and they are definitely ready for SEC fans to arrive in town. And when you do get here, there are tons of restaurants and things to do all around the Georgia Dome. There's, of course, a CNN Center and Centennial Olympic Park, but also the world of Coca-Cola has moved down there and the new Georgia Aquarium is right next door to the world of Coke. A lot to do. Mark Vaughn with the Atlanta Convention and Visitors Bureau says that you are sure to find something to do when you get here. There are 300 restaurants ranging from all price points within steps of the Georgia Dome. Uh, a new entertainment district in the Lucky Marietta district that uh, will, will uh, be very popular for those who can't get a ticket to get to the game and they'll be able to watch it on their favorite TV set there. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Bradley Whittington and I came down this morning, or came up this morning, I should say, to Atlanta to check out the sites. We've been cruising around town all day trying to figure out what we were going to show you guys to do. We found the Varsity Restaurant, a big hot spot here over near the Georgia Tech campus, and tonight at 10, tune in because we tried out their very best. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, Daniel Sparkman, WVUA News, Lynn Phillip. All right, thanks, Daniel. And for those of you who can't wait until this Saturday, look further. Look no further than right here on WVUA for your SEC coverage. WVUA will have more live reports tonight at 10 and again tomorrow at 5, 6, and 10. And don't forget to start your game day with WVUA's Crimson Tide kickoff with Gary Harris. That's Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Crimson Tide kickoff right here on WVUA TV. Around the holidays, many people look for ways to give back or lend a hand in the community. And the Literacy Council of West Alabama and Project Literacy United States, also called the PLUS program, needs your help. WVA's Jennifer Edwards has the story. Sneer. Mm -hmm. Sneer. Mm -hmm. And dear. Mm -hmm. For some adults, reading words like these comes naturally. But just a year ago, Will Myers wasn't able to do that. When we first started, he knew his alphabet, but he really could not read World Book Three. He can read uh, third grade level. So going from pre-kindergarten <laughs> to third grade level in one year is fantastic. For Christopher Wilder, reading wasn't something he was good at. We go to the library and we would check out books and the teachers were like, who would want to read their book? And every time I would try to read, I would get laughed at. Myers and Wilder are part of the PLUS program, which is designed to teach adults 17 and older in West Alabama how to read with help from a tutor. 23% of the uh, people in West Alabama are not reading above the fourth grade level. The Literacy Council of West Alabama and the PLUS program are looking for volunteers to tutor adult readers. Chancey says the pair meets twice a week and there are no special requirements. You don't have to be a professional teacher to do this. We do a training workshop and uh, show you the best way to teach someone to read and we provide the materials or all free. I get home and uh, what would I have done in those two hours that I was home? 
you know, I would have nothing to show for it. Where with this, I have a lot to show for it. Heitch says learning to read gives people a second chance at life. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Jennifer Edwards, WVUA News. If you would like to volunteer or if you'd like to get some help learning to read, you can contact the PLUS program, their phone number, 205-391-2671. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in downtown Tuscaloosa. This year's tree is a traditional cedar tree, approximately 54 feet tall, given to the community by an anonymous donor. Officials say it will take 1,040 lights, along with lots of bow and garland, also the assistance of a 60-ton crane to get the tree ready for its big night. And we'll have special live coverage of the tree lighting ceremony at 5 o'clock on Monday. Also, don't miss WVUA's kickoff to Christmas Monday, December 3rd, right here on WVUA TV. Also Monday night, the streets of Tuscaloosa will be filled with people watching the West Alabama Christmas Parade. That's right, and this year for the very first time, your home team is bringing you the entire parade live. Tune in next Monday at 6.30, and your home team will have special coverage of the Christmas tree lighting ceremony and also the big parade. Lots of people are in it this year. The 37th Annual West Alabama Christmas Parade will be Monday, that's December 3rd, 6.30 p.m. See the whole thing right here on WVUA-TV.